Hi everyone, welcome to Poetology. If you've been following this channel for a bit, you know that I am obsessed with collage. And today I decided I would show you some of my favourite collage books. There will be two separate videos on this, one this week and one next week. Next week's will focus on specific artists and their use of collage. But this one is more about general books that describe collage techniques and showcase some collage artists as well. The first of these books is Collage Techniques, a guide for artists and illustrators by Gerald Bromer. And this is more of a fine arts approach to collage. It's got some advanced techniques and it will give you lots of ideas for combining different materials with paint and a lot of more advanced techniques for collage. It showed me what some artists are doing with collage that doesn't look like the kind of collage that I do with magazines, but combines several mediums together. For example, Bromer himself uses a lot of different textures that he combines before he paints on top of those stained papers, for example, and textiles, and creates very textured scenes, as you can see in this shot. I really like the 1990s vibe in this book, the way it's laid out, and I also appreciated the last part titled Responding to Contemporary Cultural Situations, which kind of shows more contemporary paintings and collage techniques. For example, I learned how to cut a picture into strips like this and then displace them to create certain effects. So some of the techniques are very accessible, even though the book in general tends to be fine arts. The second book is much more accessible, very easy to use, and it is published by the Tate. And it's titled Project Collage by Bev Spite. 50 projects to spark your creativity. So if you want to get started with collage or you've been doing some basic collage but you want to learn more creative techniques that you can apply to the work, this is really great because it features so many ideas of how you can cut things into geometrical shapes, play with the material, and start some more advanced projects. For example, I love this set of cards, just playing cards that have been modified to have specific illustrations for each. I would love to do something like that based on the tarot, but with a personalized touch. This would be a bigger project, but I think it's an amazing idea. Some of the techniques in this book are very simple and yet they are very effective. I would like to try and experiment with stitching at some point as well. I think amazing things can be done through stitching. So if you need ideas to boost your collage activities, this is probably the best book for you at that stage. Now the next two books are showcasing contemporary collage artists. The first one, Cut That Out, Contemporary Collage in Graphic Design by the collective Dr. Me has a combination of paper-based and digital collage artists and it's a very satisfying book to look at with so much variations and it features a very wide range of contemporary collage artists. You can see here how the digital can be incorporated for amazing effects. This book is perfect to give you a general idea of what is being done in collage, both in more artistic sectors and also in slightly more commercial sectors, and all the creativity that pertains to collage as an art form. I personally love artists who combine words or letters with more visual forms. Here, for example, is Damien Tran, and I like how some of the collages are black and white with colored letters on top. It's got a strong surrealist influence and tends to combine words with pictures. Um, 
as a poet, I really like that writing element juxtaposed onto text. I was also very intrigued by Paul Sarr's work, especially here where newspapers are being cut into to create depth and to create a juxtaposition and reveal parts of the articles and pictures underneath. Paul Sarr also has writing compositions here that read almost like poems. After all the relentless criticism, broken vows, frustrated and smashed dreams, remember ineffective ankle guards, goalie cups, Cooper elbow pads, the tricky problems, inadequate graphics. So strap on your helmet, the future says. Tough, you likely have work to do. And here is Earthrise. The technique is simple enough, but the result is stunning, I think and war with all these birds being involved in different scenes with weapons, planes, ammunition, bombing. And finally, we have Collage by Women, edited by Rebecca Elitzegi. There are 50 essential contemporary artists featured in this book. I really liked Annegret Solthaus, stitch work on these portraits and it goes on here. I think this is a really great approach to portraiture and I also noted the work of Isabel Chiara who makes these incredible compositions, some of which are very camp. I love this one and yeah, you can see a lot of great work here, as well as Johanna Goodman, who also works with portraits with a definite camp touch. And then there's a book I'm waiting for that I really want to add to my small collection. The title is Cut and Paste 400 Years of Collage by Patrick Elliott and it is going to be released in December this year, December 2021. The description of the book says, featuring over 200 words ranging from the 1500s to the present day, it offers an entirely new approach. Hitherto, collage has been presented as a 20th century phenomenon linked in particular to Pablo Picasso and Cubism in the years just before the First World War. In Cut and Paste, 400 Years of Collage, we trace its origin back to books and prints of the 1500s through the boom in popularity of scrapbooks and do-it-yourself collage during the Victorian period, and then through Cubism, Futurism, Dada, and Surrealism. It also features 1960s and 1970s anti-establishment collage artists, so there's a lot to look forward to here, and I think it will give a more complete picture to my collection. I hope you enjoyed this little collage book tour, and next week we will talk to my housemate's cat, who will show you three of her collage books that feature specific artists and their work with collage and poetry as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, have a look at my website or follow me on Twitter. I'm looking forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye.